The documentary narrative film There Is Many Like Us is the true story of love and survival in a prison camp during the Holocaust. The cast describes the making of several key scenes and the great effort to make the film look as authentic as possible. It was very important for me that although I was doing the film on a budget, that everything looked period-esque. I had a lot of luxury with this project um, in that everything was so um, authentic, right? Like the trucks, really the trucks that we used all Germany, 1939. Like, I don't even know how you pull it together with less than $200 million. But, like, um, it, it was insane because I'm wearing an actual trench coat. I'm, the clothes I'm wearing are from 1940s. or You know, they match the period. The, the, the cigarettes that we were smoking, the, the, you know, the reproduction guns. But the reproductions felt like, you know, real guns. It was super grounding. One of the most dramatic scenes was the great escape sequence shot in authentic period sewage tunnels. There's this sewer system in LA that's hidden within this park, um, and you're not really supposed to be there at all, but Josh was like, okay guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll up, we're gonna scout the place out. When the park guards aren't there, then we're gonna run into the tunnels, we're gonna get the shots really quick, and then we're gonna run to the next location. Yeah, we got some really cool footage from that day too, or those days, it was, is a few weekends and the tunnels were real, you know, real 1944, you know, researched location scouted tunnels that were really slimy. So that scene was actually pretty easy to do because it's easy to embody going through 1944 gross tunnel when you're actually going through a 1944 gross tunnel. Another dramatic sequence in the film was creating an emotion filled rain scene between the two main characters. It was in the middle of the night that I had this idea where it should be raining because it'll just make it way more cinematic and the feeling will be there and, and uh, it's such an intense moment. Yet I had never worked in the rain or I never produced fake rain before in any type of scene and I didn't know the obstacles that went about it. I rented a rain machine, I got some lighting and such and I got a big umbrella and, uh, and, and it, was, it was a lot harder than I imagined but uh, we were able to pull it off. One day I get a knock at the door one evening and it's Max and I thought he was dead. I was convinced that he was dead and it and it's really hard because I lost him and then I and then I and then I got him back again and then I thought I lost him again. So it was just like a lot of emotions and a lot of like ripping apart of the heart, you know, and, and, and everything. Um and then he was standing there on my doorstep and and it was like oh First of all, you're alive, oh my God. Second of all, what have I done? Like, I have a husband, like what? And, 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 and Max, I like, didn't realize, and then Max saw my husband and he kind of clicked and he realized that I was remarried. And obviously he felt heartbroken and, but I didn't know, it's just, it's like so frustrating, you know? Like you can't, and so then he ends up leaving it's really hard because I know that this is the way it's got to be. But at the same time, like, I can't stay away from him. He walks away and then I, and then I call him and I run. And I just kiss him one last time in the rain. And in that kiss, I feel like I tell him, like, I still choose you. I still love you. You will always be the one. And oh my God, like the rain scene. How are you not in love with Kaylee Gilbert when it's raining all over you and you're in the moonlight and you're kissing? Um, there was a lot of energy between that, that uh, Kaylee was open to. Like we were bouncing a lot of energy and it really showed in the rain scene. That's kind of, for me, the, one of the most defining moments of the project. For more information, you can check out the website, thereismanylikeus.com. Chris Kalora reporting.